Tonight we're hearing more from Macon Judicial Circuit District Attorney Anita R. Howard in response to Friday's murder suicide. Our Gloria Ruth Finney is live in the studio after attending the DA's presser earlier on Monday. Gloria Ruth. Greg, the DA says her office opposed Wayne Fuller's release from jail. Still a judge signed off on him his release. And now she says that she still only blames Fuller for the murder suicide on Friday. On Friday, August 16, 2024, Katina Fuller was shot and killed by her husband, Wayne Fuller. Macon Judicial Circuit District Attorney Anita R. Howard led a moment of silence in remembrance of Katina Fuller Monday afternoon at a press conference in response to Fuller's murder and Wayne Fuller's suicide just hours later. This case tragically illustrates how domestic violence homicides can be predictable. She says instances of domestic violence carry common characteristics and patterns of abuse. And oftentimes, victims in trying to move on drop charges. That's the case for the Fullers. Court records show Wayne Fuller's years of violence against Katina and even a previous wife. However, Katina requested to drop the charges against her husband and against the advice of the district attorney's office, Judge Bryant Paul Pepper signed off on Fuller's release from the Bibb County Jail on June 20th. In all criminal cases that refer to our office, felony charges, we have 90 days to indict that case or the individual is legally entitled to a bond, which means a judge must give them a bond. And so we had not reached that time limit yet, so we opposed bond. The defendant was not entitled to a bond, but he was granted a OR bond. Is it fairly common or uncommon for a judge to grant an individual bond in this situation? I think that it is not uncommon for, it is not uncommon based on the different judges, all different, all the judges, just like all of us, come to their perspective uh, positions with different experiences. Howard says she believes the best way to prevent future releases to those similarly charged as Fuller is to require judges be trained on the cycles of domestic violence. Reporting live in the studio, Gloria Ruth Finney, WGXA News.